esqueça de contar que a boneca mais famosa do mundo vai ganhar um filme icônico e que eu já assisti. Hey Barbie. Can I come to your house tonight? Sure. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. So cool. A Warner me trouxe aqui para Los Angeles, nos Estados Unidos, para ver de perto a Barbie Land. Inclusive, agora mesmo eu tô dentro do closet da Barbie com os figurinos que foram usados dentro do filme. E se você tá esperando um filme bem cor-de-rosa, plástico e fantástico, acertou! Vai ter tudo isso e um dos elencos mais legais que eu já vi. Sim, gente, vocês já estão entendendo, né? Já, já eu vou entrevistar a nossa Barbie, a Margot Robbie, o nosso Ken, que é o Ryan Gosling e várias outras pessoas que estão nesse filme muito especial. Vocês estão preparados? Eu estou muito preparada! Eu sou a Valentina Bulgarin e esse é o nosso Inside Warner Barbie. Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Uh. Hi Ken! Hi Ken! Hit the radio fast and goes cruising just as fast as she can now! I'm Valentina, I'm from Warner in Brazil. How are you today? Good, good. how are you? I'm good too! What are the elements that you guys are loving to see in this Barbie fever? And I honestly, the thing that makes me happiest is when I see dudes wearing pink, pink and yeah. like getting excited about Barbie because yes. I know that they've always wanted to. They've just been waiting for the chance for Perfect. someone to say, it's okay, you can be excited about a Barbie movie, go for it. You are man enough to want to see yeah. the Barbie movie. We look great. Hey man, you guys gotta pay for that. Did you get that feeling too, Ryan? Like you got on set, saw your costumes and you're like, finally, yes. Yes, I did. I thought this, the sets too were so incredible that they just sort of like inspired. I, I, I can only speak for myself, but I imagine all of our performances, as much as the costumes too. Like the level of artistry from the HODs that Margot and Greta hired was so incredible that it was just like set such a high bar for all of us. Além do elenco, eu também consegui conversar com a diretora do filme, a Greta Gerwig. Ela é bem famosa por ter trabalhado em filmes que têm protagonistas femininas bem fortes, como é o caso de Lady Bird e Adoráveis Mulheres. Na nossa conversa, eu aproveitei para perguntar bastante dos bastidores que estavam rolando ali em Barbie Land. What were the, the references to put that plastic and fantastic vibe on the screen? Yeah, well, I had one of the best cinematographers who's ever lived, um, Rodrigo <laughs> Prieto, and he was, he and I talked for like a year before we started shooting and set the look and it was a combination of, uh, obviously we wanted the colors to be extraordinarily bright, vibrant, but we also wanted the look of the film to be, the way the camera moved to be innocent and not hiding anything because there's nothing to hide in Barbie Land. Where are we? This is Barbie Land. Are we going to get small like doll size or are Barbies our size? Yes. Basically everything that men do in your world, women do in ours. The president's here. I am, you're welcome. Barbie is a doctor and a lawyer. And it's so much more than that. What were the requirements for people to get in this cast? Because I do feel that everyone that is in here is just people that I would want to be friends with, you know? I know, I probably, that's true <laughs> for me too. Everyone who is in the cast was able to, you know, create humor out of honestly taking it really seriously there was a great deal of sincerity in the performances they were never making fun of it they were always like all in ryan gosling was like yeah. the the one who but he was the one we needed before anyone because i i just i knew it had to be him and we just really waited him out we were like <laughs> it's got to be you and he was like well but i have to do this other thing and then I have this and we're like, okay, but on the other end, we'll be in Barbie land waiting for you. And, <laughs> and he eventually just uh, gave up. I thought I might stay over tonight. Why? Because we're girlfriend, boyfriend. To do what? I'm actually not sure. Margo would give me a present every day to help encourage what? my Kennergy. It would be a <laughs> Are pink. Are you Ted Lasso or Mar something? Margo. <laughs> As Barbie to Ken, would, there was a pink present in my room every day with a pink bow from Barbie, and it was some kind of Ken-related energy I boosting. You know? I, no, I it's swear. true. It's true. And it seemed impossible because like the shoot went on for months. <laughs> what? She just every day. I thought this has to stop at some point. I mean, what were the top three of those gifts? Do you remember? There was um, 
I, you know, there was an inflatable flamingo at some point. There were puka shell necklaces. There was a, a horse welcome mat. <laughs> Uh, a horse book that she gave me as a joke, which actually I read, and it's oh, such a good, I love this book. And I didn't even totally know it, and then halfway through the movie, Ryan was reading a book, and I was like, what, do you, what is that? And he's like, Margot gave it to me. She gives me a gift every day. And I was like, what? <laughs> there was a point in the shoot where, I, I don't know, maybe we were like 55 presents deep, and I was just like, I, I don't know what else to get at this point. I don't, I don't know how long I can keep this up. Diamonds under my eyes. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. And so is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Yeah. You guys ever think about dying? Entre uma entrevista e outra, eu ainda tive tempo de ver de perto os figurinos oficiais do filme que estão aqui no closet da Barbie. Gente, vocês perceberam, né, que a Barbie é um ícone fashion e depois do anúncio do filme, a gente entrou completamente na estética Barbiecore. Com certeza você já viu aí na sua timeline algumas pessoas usando várias roupas bem cor-de-rosa e cheias de referência do filme. Agora eu quero falar dessa maravilhosa aqui. Essa Barbie, por exemplo, é a nossa Barbie presidente. Ela é interpretada pela Issa Rae, que é uma comediante fabulosa, e é claro que a gente também conversa com ela. It was actually really fun to people watch, you know, down to like the dancers and background actors. Yeah. Everybody was absolutely beautiful, mm -hmm. and everyone got the same body makeup treatment. So it was just like, oh, we're just I'm just looking at a bunch of dolls. So we had extensive <laughs> body makeup to make sure that our skin was entirely even, just like dolls are. A few hours in the makeup chair, I think, right? A lot of wigs. Like oh my so God. many wigs with so much hair yeah. in the wigs. I actually, I, I was like, I'm gonna have to see a chiropractor. Like, I'm, I was like, my neck is so sore. And I was like, oh, it's probably because I have an extra 15 pounds of hair on my head that I'm running around with every day. What do I have to do? You have to go to the real world. You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. E é claro que para me ajudar com todas essas entrevistas maravilhosas, eu chamei essa perfeita, a Barbie mexicana, Gabi Khan. Uhul! Oi, Brasil! Olha, o sotaque dela melhorando, gente! Então tá bom, vocês vão ver como a gente arrasou nessas entrevistas. And Kate, I have to tell you, when I saw Weird Barbie, I... I've never related a lot to Barbie because I'm Mexican, I'm Latina, and I, I actually like Teresa better than Barbie, but then I saw yours and I was like, yeah, that looks more like me. <laughs> Why do you think she's more relatable to people? Um, I think it was a very, very narrow swath of young girls who could look at Barbie and think, oh, I look like that. That makes sense to me. I'm able to look like that. And so for everyone else, I think, That's why girls sort of cut their hair and drew on them and burned their clothes and stuff because maybe they felt like, I cannot see myself in this doll as much as I would like to. Come into my weird house, hi. I'm Weird Barbie, I am in the splits, I have a funky haircut and I smell like basement. Oh my God, I had a weird Barbie. Yeah, you did. I know you didn't have like the closest relationship with Barbie growing up. What was it lacking? Barbies were expensive and all of her, her accoutrement were expensive and so I think You know, I, we couldn't afford it, but also, you know, I did. I just didn't feel necessarily represented in the world of Barbie. And you have your own Barbie now. Gloria has her own Barbie. You got this. What was something that you learned about Barbie while you were shooting the movie that blew your mind? You know, so many things. Like for one, that like before Barbie in like modern American culture, there were no dolls that were not baby dolls. Like that fact alone, yeah. which like you you hear in the first like minute of the movie, I was like, oh. it's still crazy. Since the first little girl ever existed, there have been dolls until. In, in addition, in Weird Barbie's world, the dog that Pooped belly. Oh, right. oh yeah. my god. I, that was a real thing. And I was Golden like, why would anyone want that? What is the excitement? Mm -hmm. A little child playing with a dog that's, I guess kids love poop jokes. So maybe <laughs> that was delightful. <laughs> I do not have genitals. That's okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I have all, all the genitals. 
What are the elements that you're loving to see in this Barbie core and Barbie fever all around us? I love that people are embracing it so so much. I mean, and have been since we were making it. Yes. I mean, since we were making it, it's been a famous movie. Like the, the anticipation is crazy, and people are just ready to to dress up for it, to embrace pink, all the things that come with what Barbie is. It's yeah. just, I haven't seen anything yeah. like that. Yeah. First I got one tier and then I got a whole bunch. This is what I hope the movie inspires. Like I hope it inspires fun and yeah. joy and sort of this permission to just express and have fun and be more of who we are. Are you really gonna let Barbie take you and your tween daughter to an imaginary land? Yes, and you wanna know why? Because I never get to do anything. I didn't even go on that cruise I won at your school raffle because I didn't have enough vacation days and your dad's allergic to sun. Oh, what about dad? You can't just leave him. He'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. Ready for fun? No filme, a nossa Barbie tá vivendo uma vida perfeita em Barbieland. Até que um belo dia, ela começa a ter pensamentos mais profundos. Some things have been happening that might be related. When my world changed. Cold shower. Ooh. Falling off my roof. Ah! And my heels are on the ground. <gasps> Black feet! É aí que ela e o Ken resolvem conhecer o mundo real e embarcam numa aventura bem fantástica. I'm coming with you. Okay. Humans only have one ending. Get that for me. Ideas live forever. Esse Inside Warner já tá quase no final, então não esquece que Barbie chega nos cinemas dia 20 de julho com tudo. Curtiram conhecer um pouco mais dos bastidores do filme? Ainda bem que a gente vai voltar com muito mais no nosso próximo programa. Eu sou a Valentina Pulgarim e esse foi o nosso Inside Warner Barbie. Tchau! <risos>